Welcome to Obama City, Japan. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Why didn't they name the city after the former president, right? Actually, they didn't. This city's been around for generations, centuries, and there's a lot of history before 2008 when the former president became the president. Like the fact that Obama was the original gateway to Japan, a place of trade and commerce, and the first place an elephant stepped ashore in the country. The mackerel, or saba, is famous here, and Obama was where the road from the sea to the imperial city, Kyoto, started. Mackerel Road is 70 kilometers long and had loads of activity back and forth then. They did take advantage of the name recognition situation. There's Obama, which written here in Japanese means small beach, and then there's President Obama, which means President Obama. But in 2008, this city was thrown into the international spotlight because of its relationship with the president phonetically. Before we look around, let's see exactly where this little city on the sea sits. It's the innermost point from the Sea of Japan to Kyoto. Mackerel Road goes around the mountains. The city itself is well protected by Wakasa Bay and follows the Kitagawa and Minami rivers to the sea. Most of the shore area is urban and quickly turns to farms and countryside inland. Obama is nicknamed Nara by the Sea and that sea is beautiful. I stayed at the Hotel Sekumiya because I heard that I'd be greeted by VIPs in the lobby. I didn't have to go far to find them. Yeah, I know. But they're there, as life-sized cardboard cutouts. The lobby is filled with stuff from the former president's political career. The story goes that when he visited Japan in 2006 as a senator, the immigration's officer looked at his passport and said that he was from Obama, Japan. This left an impression on the senator, and the mayor of Obama followed up by sending gifts, thus starting a special friendship with the town. Obama City cheered him on as his political career blossomed into the White House. Obama citizens especially loved the president's Hawaiian ancestry. Although he hasn't visited Obama City as of 2017, the ambassador at the time, John Roos, made a trip to the city and even invited the mayor to the embassy in Tokyo. Putting aside politics, it's nice to see this unique international friendship based on a surprising coincidence. Some souvenirs made its way here. Local artists also added to the hotel's collection. The gift shop sells Obama confections. The sweet cookie with the president pressed on it. The top seller are the manju, sweet red bean cakes, wrapped with the former president, of course. You can grab a coffee at the vending machine outside with the leader himself. The mayor promised a statue if the senator won. He did, and well, here it is. It exemplifies Obama's skill as an orator, talented at public speaking. In a way, he kind of looks Japanese. What do you think? It's always nice to see other Americans in a faraway place on the other side of the world. bipartisan appreciation for the moment at hand. But I got the funny feeling that it was time for me to go. Obama has a happy and aging population. Nearly everyone I met was in their silver years, including this dog. In dog years, of course. The town is clean and much of the town feels retro. Reminders of a couple generations before are everywhere. Shops close early in the city center. Stores lower their grates and the city gets quiet by 5 p.m. At night, well, you'd better know where to go. 
This is 8 p.m. on a Friday night in Obama. Did I mention it was Friday night? I don't know what people do on Friday night in Obama, obviously, because it's not here in the center of the city. Let's just say Obama is a fishing village where people wake up early, really early. The city may be small, but it has a lot of charm and history. As I said before, it's the Nara by the sea, and it's the sea that shines bright here. If you have a clear day, you'll be treated to a beautiful sunset over Wakasa Bay. It's just as good from the Sekumiya Hotel. The next day I went to the sea. Obama has a nice boat tour of the surrounding coast. It gives you an idea of how clean the sea is here, and it also reminds you that Obama has some amazing seafood. So I've come to the Obama Ichiba or fish market to see if I can find some food. Let's have a look around. This fish market is open early and yes, it closes early too. And this mural sums up the city well. Life on the sea, flowers, temples, and mackerel in countryside. And, well, it's Obama City. What can I say? Aloha! The market is much smaller than Skiji, but much more inviting. The best place for breakfast is here inside the market. The sashimi teishoku for 1400 yen is a fantastic deal. It came with a fisherman-sized portion of rice and miso soup. The sashimi cuts are fresh and fantastic. But I had to try the area's most delicious fish, saba. That's mackerel, grilled to perfection. Super soft and tender meat that just falls off the bone. One of the city's most recommended restaurants was Kanematsu near the city hall. Their kaisen don was real sea treasure. Squid, maguro, shrimp, ikura, uni or sea urchin, topped with soy sauce mixed with wasabi. A good kaisen don will make you happy for the rest of the day, and this one was enough to keep me smiling throughout the entire stay. So it's just a little city by the sea, a place where you can sort of chill with a former world leader. Its citizens do hope that he visits them someday, but to me, it's just one of those things that's just only in Japan. Next time, we highlight some amazing stories from the far side of Japan, far for anyone living in Tokyo. Mount Daisen and the area of Totori Prefecture is really special to me, and I'm going to show you why. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button and check out another one of our shows. Don't miss my second live streaming channel, Only in Japan Go. And check out location photos on Instagram. Mata ne.